everybody. Uh, I'm Grey Monster back with something you haven't seen in a while, and that is a Lego Transformer. Um, this is Hiller. Hiller turns into a ant, and I think it is a very good ant. Um, it's pretty simple. I wanted to get back into Transformers, but I didn't want to do anything too complicated, not yet, but uh, it does get more complicated. Trust me, I've been building up for quite a while. I just haven't posted them. Um, I will have a couple more Transformers coming, but this, this is the one we're focusing on now. So this is Hiller, as I said before. He is not really a Decepticon, not really an Autobot. I like to think that he just kind of does his own thing. He's more like a gun for hire or uh, a salesman. He sells weapons and stuff. I do like to think he leans more towards the beliefs of the Decepticons, but that he just kind of doesn't like war and kind of a little bit of a coward, if I'm being honest. Um, but you can see the ant mode. I think it turns out pretty nice. You got Florex back here. You can kind of wiggle and you can kind of get him into like a stinging type motion, you know? Um, the ant head is on a ball joint, so you can look all types of ways up, down. It's on a hinge here too, so you can really get him looking, you know, biting whatever speaking of biting the pinchers do open and close and i think they turned out very nice i wanted to do something that wasn't too bulky but still got uh, a job done and i think this worked out pretty well anyway that's about it for ant mode let's move on to transformation and so transformation is pretty simple but to start it you're gonna rotate the head around line this little black part up with the gap right there spread the pinchers and put the chin down into this gap and then close the pinchers up around the belly of what will be the robot. And then next thing you're going to come down, bring these front legs down, bring them down, and then rotate the little cheese slope to become a foot. And on the other side, we're just going to kind of bring these down, let them dangle sort of behind the legs, just like that. They don't really go anywhere. Couldn't think of anything to do with them, but it's fine. Um, next, you're going to come up here to the arms, bring them down, flip the hand out, and there's one. Same thing on the other one. And this was probably my favorite part of building this guy. I wanted the head to be completely concealed in uh, ant mode, but also not... Um, be too bulky in robot mode and I didn't want the ant head to become the robot mode head because that's just not very creative is it so I came up with this you're gonna bring the thorax and bring it back just like that and you're going to bring out you're going to this part comes off detaches a little hinge right here and you might have to move these ant bits out of the way for now you're gonna bring them bring this hinge back and the head would be pretty hard to get out so I decided to put this little bit here fold this down and now the head is a whole lot easier to get out reach in here and grab the head pull it on out and turn it around and there is Hiller in his robot mode and I think that Hiller's, oh, get him standing, close this bit up. I think that Hiller's robot mode is very nice. I like the way that it turned out. Um, I like that he's got kind of a pot belly here with the ant head and this big tank above his head. And uh, I think he looks just kind of lazy and old and, and tired. And uh, I think his very nice anyway as far as weapons go i decided that he should not have a very complicated weapon and it shouldn't be something that requires a lot of skill so i just decided to give him this little uh this little can in here and that goes under his arm just like that and i like to think that it's just like a grenade launcher or some kind of a rocket launcher or something, just kind of something that he would fire off and and 
just randomly, you know, for defense or fighting or whatever. Um, I like to think that he's pretty skilled in, like, martial arts and stuff, too, so he can take you down with just his bare hands, but I, I like to think that he just doesn't. He's just too lazy. Um, but, uh, yeah, you can get his arm coming across, uh, I think, all the way, so you can get him kind of propping his other hand up. Oh, yep, you can. Oh, looking over. There we go. So you can get him holding it with two hands. Let's bring the camera up a little bit. Get a shot. There we go. But, uh, yeah, that's going to about do it for this video. Uh, it's been Hiller. Look out for more Transformers being posted. Um, I'm going to post a couple more. I have a few more sitting that I need to make videos of, but it's going to do it for this one. Um, if you really like the video, you can like it. If you like this Transformer, you want to see more, you can subscribe. But uh, thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you later.